Douse those gallons! Hold! Hold! Hold sail! She'll take it! Why, look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. <laughs> we pay the prices Mr. Beckford knows are fair. And with a quality he knows is bad. Aye, ah, this hearty molasses and raw cane, that's a given. It gladdens me to hear your saying so. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment.
Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and then take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest. The mate not talks a load, sir. This isn't anything like a friendly port, Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you say, sir. All up and unfurl, boys. We're going home. Man crafting a bold idea. Look, I've seen before. You mark well, I know. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Loose tops and royals! Hold on, there's trouble to fall. I see them. Our force patrol these waters closely, Captain. Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? Huh? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? And something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous. It must be why it fetches such a clear price. What's it like? working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and the Sugar Empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked a plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous. It must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation, day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, 
It's run between two metal rollers and cross the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in tatches made of copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin, it stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Every last scrap of duck on the wind! Quite the squall picking up, Captain! All weather right there, Captain! Short sail! Get off the squall! It's a risk to anchor too close. Soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look, look after the jungle. such disarray. Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though, for a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. What the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. On it. Let's get back. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? Speed the key, speed. God damn it! Someone find me the key! You can purge me later. Oh, that's over here. Fetch me the warehouse. Oh, Yes. Yeah. 